now back in Arcadia Forest, the forest that we actually came to um, three or four months ago before um, this prescribed fire was put in. And as you can see, devastation all around. And you may recall we actually talked about the western ringtail possum and its habitat. And we actually looked at this balga or grass tree, recognizing that some western ringtail possums were actually living in here before the fire. But unfortunately what's happened, the Department of Environment and Conservation have come through here, put in this prescribed fire, and actually destroyed the habitat. Now what happened to the western ringtail possum, we don't know. Perhaps the animal has escaped, maybe over to the next forest, or possibly it's been burned to death. Burning the forest ecosystem during the spring months is having a dramatic effect on the habitat and also on the food resources for these rare and endangered creatures like the, the red tail um, forest cockatoo, Badness cockatoo, the Carnaby's cockatoo depend on food here to supply their young. Of course the other enormous damage to the ecosystem is the loss of habitat trees like this. 300, 400 year old Mary that's been standing in this forest for all of those years and home and habitat to several endangered species now it's hit the deck. We're standing in a habitat zone here, particularly in the riparian stream reserve. What's tragic about this, of course, is that all the vegetation has been removed here from the intensity of the fire. Consequently, when it rains, what will happen is all the nutrients and soils will actually rush down the hill here, down onto the flats here and flood into the rivers, causing sedimentation and eutrophication of the streams. The tragic thing too, of course, is that once again, habitat has been destroyed. Animals that have come in and out of the forest looking for respite or a place to actually hide, it's gone now. Everything is actually gone here. And this ecology here has taken thousands of years to evolve. And in just two hours, it's been wiped off the face of the earth. The Department of Environment and Conservation they actually sort of label greenies as not wanting any burning whatsoever, which is totally false. Nothing could be further from the truth. What we're asking these people and the Environment Minister is to consider shifting the prescribed burning program from the spring months into the autumn months. Spring now is a very dangerous time to actually sort of light fires in the forest because large red gums like this continue to ignite all through the summer months, constituting a fire danger for the few animals that have actually possibly survived this fire. 